saint of the day. So today it's St. Cornelius the Centurion. So on this day, the 20th of October, 2024, we reflect on St. Cornelius the Centurion, a remarkable figure in the early Christian church, and the first Gentile convert mentioned by the name in the New Testament. His conversion marks a significant moment in the spread of Christianity beyond the Jewish community, demonstrating that the message of Christ was meant for all people, regardless of their background or authenticity. St. Cornelius, a Roman centurion, started in Caesarea, stationed in Caesarea, is introduced to us in the book of Acts as a centurion. St. Cornelius was a commander of about a hundred soldiers, a man of authority and discipline. What sets him apart, however, was his deep piety and fear of God. Although not a Jew, St. Cornelius had a sincere devotion to the God, to God of Israel. He's described as someone who gave alms generously to the people and prayed constantly to God. What makes St. Cornelius truly significant is his role in opening the doors of the church to the Gentiles. Before his conversion, Christianity was seen largely as a movement within Judaism. St. Cornelius, being a Gentile, represented a pivot moment in the church's growth. His story reveals how God's plan of salvation extends beyond the boundaries of any one group, offering grace and redemption to all. A key event in St. Cornelius' life occurred, occurred when he received a vision from an angel, instructing him to send for the Apostle Peter. At the time, Peter had a vision that challenged the traditional Jewish view of purity and cleanliness. When Peter arrived at St. Cornelius' home, he realized that God was calling him to preach to the Gentiles, saying, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. One of the lesser known details about St. Cornelius is that he likely continued to be an influential figure in his local community even after his conversion. As a man of significant status within the Roman army, St. Cornelius would have had opportunities to influence others by sharing the message of Christ. According to some traditions, he became a bishop, spreading the gospel in the region of Caesarea. St. Cornelius is remembered for his obedience to God, his openness to divine direction, and his willingness to break barriers for the sake of the gospel. His story teaches us that faith is not confined to a specific group or tradition, but is open to all who seek God with sincerity. His conversion also reminds us of the importance of listening to God's call, even when it challenges our preconceptions or requires us to step outside of our comfort zones. For young people today, St. Cornelius offers a powerful example of how our faith journey might unfold in unexpected ways. His life encourages us to remain open to God's guidance, recognizing that God may call us to be agents of change in our communities, just as St. Cornelius was. It also teaches us that true faith is about action. St. Cornelius' prayers and almsgiving were expressions of his devotion and his willingness to respond to God's call, transform not just his life, but the life of the church. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, who called St. Cornelius the centurion to be a witness to your love and mercy, please help us to follow his example of openness and obedience to your will. Please grant us the grace to break down the barriers that divide us, recognizing that your love extends to all people. May we, like St. Cornelius, seek you with sincere hearts and be instruments of your peace and grace within our communities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From a friend of Our Lady.